Hi guys, Gareth here and I'm back with Tottenham Foot Managers and as you can see today we play Fulham away from home in the Barclays Premier League. We have already wrapped up the title um, but we still want to be unbeaten the whole season so it's a weakened team because we do have City on the weekend away um, but you know it's still a good team and I still think we can at least go and get a draw here and keep up our unbeaten record. It's Larice, Klein, Corker, Rami and Crescito so a, a weakened back four. We still a good one. Hamshik, Vidal, Shakiri and Bale in the middle. And Adebayor and Falcao. It seems like forever since we played players like Adebayor and Shakiri in particular. Um, so yeah, I really want to get them a game out here today. Um, hopefully, I can get a few more towards the end of the season. Um, but yeah, uh, now that I've won the Premier League, um, I start thinking, you know, is that enough of a thing to, to you know, go, to leave on? Uh, especially if we win the FA Cup as well. You know, do we really have to win the Champions League to really? leave in in style um, people say leave it your best and if we could win the Champions League and the FA Cup that would undoubtedly be our best season here we would have won six trophies equaling what um, Barcelona did um, also two Champions League trophies on the bounce three Premier League trophies on the bounce you know it's just it's insane in th in three seasons as well to have done this uh, one one three league titles two European major European titles um, you know one Super European Super Cup, or is it two Super Cups with one? I can't remember now. Um, I think it was Bale though. Oh, and it's a goal. Put them together. Put them together for the man. Our player of the season, in my opinion, Gareth Bale, just comes, cuts inside, left foot, bang, back from that. One nil. I wait for them. Uh, you can't really argue with that, can you? Um, seven minutes in anyway. Put on a decent team, so uh, we'll be. Oh, Shakiri could be. He comes back from injury, you know, quite a big injury. Um, he's been out for quite a while. He hasn't played for quite a while, and he decides to go and do that. Definition of an absolute idiot. Um, okay, well, it looks like we've got some to do some stuff now. Um, I wonder whether I can put Bill there. Uh, he doesn't really like it that much, but he's going to have to stay there for now. Uh, I know I can put Hamishik out there, but I'd rather not do that if I can help it. Um, although, actually, I might do it because Vidal's pretty fit, and he could probably dominate the midfield by himself, couldn't he? Um, I do want to get Bale off later in the game, though. Um, yeah, I was hoping that um, we wouldn't get a player sent off and you know, start bossing the game quite a bit. And I was hoping... Oh, he goes... Oh, Hamishik should have scored. I was hoping we could have done well. Um, you know, really well, you know, wrapped the game up and brought Bale off quite uh, as early as possible, really. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I do, I don't know, I'm not getting really bored of Tottenham, but, you know, I, I would like a new challenge. Um, this has been, you know, I've been at Tottenham for three years now, we've won pretty much everything, or we have won everything there is to win. Um, um, and it was always my plan, if we won the Premier League and Champions League, to definitely leave. So that's still going to happen if we win the Champions League. But we're only in the semi-finals of the Champions League, you know, it's not like we definitely won it. Nathaniel Klein's not going to get... I hate these games where you get a player sent off, you get a shit ton of injuries. We'll probably get some more, to be honest. It'll probably be to, like, bail or some bullshit. Uh, it just... It seems to happen where it's just these games where you just get everything going against you. It's so annoying. Anyway, um... Yeah, so my my plan's always been if I win the Champions League um, and the Premier League in this season, definitely leaving. Um, and if I win the Champions League or the Premier League, not and not win both of them, then you know I'd have to see how I felt at the time. Um, no, I'm 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 just not sure where I go from here. Thank God Gibbs is gonna get injured because it's just about time. You know, happen. Something bad happened to their team. Uh, but we won the up, so I can't be, really complain too much. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, yeah. So um, I'm not sure. Obviously, the next team I will be will be with England. I'll be there for a season. Then we'll do the Euros, um, which I assume we're going to get into. Um, I can't tell you for definite because we haven't actually qualified yet. But it's pretty much definite that we'll get there. You know, I'm pretty sure we can beat the remaining teams. Um, all the remaining teams, and hopefully do well in the lead in the friendlies lead, leading up as well, because they're good preparation to really just you know see who the best team is. I I really like to take you know a year off just to focus on England, 
but at the same time I want to leave Tottenham you know champions of Europe champions of the world champions of England you know, just everything that's the kind of state I want to leave them in with a good present and a really good future you know and I feel at the end of the season I could leave them and you know think that you know I've I've accomplished everything that I wanted to here um, and left them in a really good state um, you know people would argue uh, why don't you do a Sir Alex Ferguson or a Arsene Wenger type thing where you stay for you know quite a long time and I do that with so many different clubs and I'm sure a lot of YouTubers do that as well um, but personally what I, I like I yeah, what I want this series more to be is a career not just a uh, you know one team you know I want it to be a career as a manager you know I want there to be you know different teams involved and you know we did get, get England involved and yes I could still do Tottenham on the side for a season but you know I just I, I kind of want to see what you guys think um, that's kind of you know how it is at the moment I'm gonna get bail off now though um, I know he's um, it's only 1-0 but um, he's quite tired now so let's go and do this and I'm going to switch them we have she got on the left get Neymar on, actually let's get Andrew ah, do we want to get IU on? Uh, you know what, I want to get um, Fellaini on for Vidal I just think that's more urgent um, to be honest because I believe Sandra's suspended for one more match which means Hamshik has to play the next match not Hamshik, Vidal has to play the next match uh, which means it's better to get him off now and leave Hamshik out there. Um, to be honest, Shakiri is going to be suspended as well, but that shouldn't matter too much. I think we've got enough um, backup to. Um oh, I thought I was in. Oh, it was one of those ones where it goes to the side netting. Uh, I thought it went in. I was about to kill myself. Uh, Risa, send him off for a fall. Oh, dickhead. Only yellow. Oh well. Oh, from the from the free kick, you're very smart from Neymar, quick thinking. Neymar's actually been, you know, kind of an unsung hero. You know, you kind of, you wouldn't think of him as a kind of unsung hero type player. But, you know, he's been a really good performer, just hasn't been getting, you know, as many goals as maybe he should have done. But, you know, some of the stuff he does, uh, he gets quite a few assists, so I'm, I'm quite happy with Neymar. You know, considering we got more of a free transfer as well, it's just brilliant. You know, we've been very lucky with some of the transfers we've got. We've got Farcao quite cheap, we've got, obviously, what's his face, free. Um, you know, some players we've got really cheap, and then some players we've had to absolutely overpay for. Players like Rashuto. That is the end of the match, though. We won 2 0, perfectly happy with that. You know, it wasn't our strongest team by any means. Um, so, really happy with the 2 0 win there. We've managed to keep our unbeaten run going in the Premier League. Um, so, I'm happy we've got three games left in the Premier League. We've already won the title, so there's not really much to play for. I really don't want to lose to City, though. I want to keep this unbeaten run going. You know, if, if we don't keep this unbeaten run going, I'll find it very hard to leave Tottenham if we don't if we don't win the Champions League. I'm going to issue Shakiri a warning because he did just come back from injury, um, so he's obviously you know going to be really really enthusiastic. Also, he's a young player. I don't want to be going finding him and you know making him want to leave the club. Um, anyway, um, Drogba Berthelini has been a great servant. Yeah, I would have to agree. It was his 100th game, but he has probably been my player of being with Tottenham. I mean, look at how consistent he's been. And for 25 million as well, he's been worth it. 13 goals in the Premier League season that season. This season he's got 13 overall season, overall competitions. Um, I'm not sure. But, you know, he's been playing, he's been starting less games, much less. You know, we've had a much better squad just this season. I'm going to go, you know, do a proper end of the season. But, oh, this has been a very short video. Um, but I would like to thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy, of course, and subscribe as always if you haven't already. Um, let's just take a quick look at it. Nottingham Forest have been relegated. Um, yeah, it's pretty tight at the bottom actually. Uh, Brighton will probably go down, unfortunately, for them. But um, you know, the others from well, actually, it's just those three teams, isn't it? Really, Liverpool. Mm. There's that time where they were struggling right at the start of the series. I thought they were going to get relegated. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty... You know, the table looks... In terms of the top six, it's fair enough. You know, six very good teams. Um, 
I don't really know what to say, so I'm just going to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.